Number 39. Calculate the molality of each of the following solutions. And then we have letter D. So in this case, we have 0.372 grams of tetrahydropyridine, which is C5H9N, and this is in 125 grams of chloroform, which is CHCl3. Okay, so this question, we just want to find the molality of this given solution. Now, there's only one general formula that you can solve for a molality, and that's this one right here. Molality, which is always represented by a lowercase italics looking M. Don't get it confused with molarity, which is capital M. But molality equals the moles of the solute divided by the kilograms of the solvent. But the thing here is that the solution that they gave us, I don't know what the solute is and what's the solvent. But we could use our context clues. Generally, a solute is the smaller amount that always is going into, or we'll say in, the solvent. So the solute is getting dunked into the solvent. The solvent generally is the liquid um, substance. So now they did tell us that the C5H9N is in the chloroform, which is the CHCl3. The solute always goes in the solvent. So with this wording, the C5HN should be the solute, and since it's going into the chloroform, which is CHCl3, that's the solvent. And now I know what units I need for both components. So for the solute, I need to get those units into moles. But they gave me 0.372 grams of the tetrahydropyridine, the C5 H9N. So I'll just go from grams to moles of the C5 H9N. Well, how do I do that? That's all the way back to the beginning of the chem course, right? Grams of a substance to moles of a substance, all you got to do is just divide by the molar mass. That's on the periodic table. So let's find out what the molar mass is of C5 H9N. You have five carbons and each carbon is 12.01 on my periodic table. We got nine hydrogens, each hydrogen is 1.008, and then we have one nitrogen, which is 14.01. Let's add those up, and let's see what we get. Nine times, whoa, wait, what am I doing? Nine times 1.008, that looks good. Add the 14.01, and that's the molar mass, 83.134. So we're going to take the 0.372 and divide it by 83.132. So 0.372 divided by that number. And I get roughly a very, very, very small number. So I guess we'll say 0.00447. Something like that. Now, let's work on the denominator, the kilograms of the solvent. They gave us grams. So, I'm going to have to take that 125 grams of the CHCl3 and just go to kilograms of the CHCl3. Grams to kilograms, that's all the way in the beginning of the chem course as well. Grams to kilograms, we always just divide by 1,000. Similarly, you could take the decimal and move it to the left three times. So that would be 0 0.125. And now we have uh, the moles of the solute and the kilograms of the solvent. So we can find out the molality. And let's see. So the moles was the 0 0.004475 divided by the kilograms, which is the 0 0.125. I'm just going to take the whole number here for the, um, the moles, and I'm going to divide it by 0.125. And there we go, 0 0.36 uh, figs, so 0 0.0358, right? Yes, the 9 rounds the 7 up to a 8. 
And the unit, you could just put that little italics to M as well. And that's the molality. Let's box it off. And that's the end for this one. What'd you think? I hope this helped. Thank you for coming to the video. Um, check the channel out. We got tons of chem videos, tons of physics and math videos as well. So we may be able to help you with those subjects as well. Um, thanks so much. Thanks for being part of the community. And I'm looking forward to helping you with more problems. See you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.